Welcome back to the show. December 17, 2009 was the day my first guest was announced at Marsh University's new head football coach. Since then, he has been working nonstop to build MU's football program back to a championship team. He has 31 years of coaching experience. This man is on a mission. He knows what he's talking about, and he's here tonight to talk about it. Please welcome Coach Doc Holliday. <laughs> Very much. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Great, have a seat right here, Coach. We are all excited. Are you ready to roll? Absolutely, you... Jamie. Excellent. Appreciate you having me. Well, thank you for being here. And I know it has been a very, very busy two and a half months. What's been going on with you and your coaching staff getting ready for the season? Well, number one, Jamie, we just tried to get them. We had to put a great staff together. And for about the first up until February 4th, we focused on two things. Uh, putting a great staff together, number one, and, and recruiting. And once we got that accomplished, uh, right now we're just working hard in the off season because right now is when you win football games. It's not. It's not in August and September. It's now. So our teams work extremely hard. They're buying in. We're excited. Oh, I'm very excited too. Now let, let's talk about this real quick at the top. Now, have you been getting any bad reaction or anything when they announced that you were the football coach in your previous job was at WVU? You know, the big rival. How did that? How did that happen? How's things going with that? Well, number one, I mean, the, the response I've gotten has been overwhelming from the day I got the job. Everywhere we've been, uh, the people, the Marshall supporters have been extremely excited. They're they're fired up. I know everywhere we go, we we're, you know we're talking in front of packed houses. Uh, and the West Virginia people are happy too. You know, I've worked 30 years to get this opportunity, and the true people that are true friends, they're excited about me getting this opportunity, and it's, it's, it's all been great. The reception has been great. Let's talk about that day back in December. I mean, it was a packed house there in the student center when they announced you. You got up and you made your speech, and you got a little emotional, and it, and it showed that you are excited and you are ready. What was that day like for you? Well, number one, it's, you know, it's a day I worked my whole life for. You know, you, you spend 30 years in the business to get the opportunity to be the head football coach, and uh, you know, Dr. Cobb and Mike Hambry could finally give me that opportunity. It was emotional, but it was fun and uh, it was exciting. And to be able to share that with Leon McCoy and some of the people I spent a lot of time with getting to this point was really it was special. Well, what are you doing now? I know we're a few weeks away from spring ball, spring practice. What are you doing to get your team ready? I mean, not just the players, your coaches, and the fans, too. I know you want to have a lot of fans for the spring game this year. What are you doing to get everyone ready? Well, you know, number one, we're, you know, we're, we're making sure that we're the most prepared and best team in America at this point. And, uh, you know, the most important guy I hired on my staff was a guy by the name of Frank Perano who came for, you know, to me from the University of Florida as a strength coach, and he's by far my most important guy. So what those guys have been doing from the day they got back and started school after the bowl win was preparing for spring ball, and they work extremely hard. I uh, work early Wednesday mornings. We're working on Sunday afternoons, and, uh, and they're, again, they're, they've bought in. They're working extremely hard, and we're excited about that. And football-wise, you know, the offensive and defensive staff, which, who I think is the best staff in America, we, Mike Hamrick and Dr. Kopp allowed me to put together, has been working you know, on football terminology and getting the playbook in place. So you know, we're excited. We've got about three weeks to go until spring ball starts, and when that point gets here, we're just, we're just looking forward to it. So what is it going to be like? You know, spring games going to be fun and games and everything, but what is it going to be like when that season starts and you are the head coach, you're pacing the sidelines, are you going to be nervous, excited? What's going to be going through your mind when that ball is kicked off? Well, I'm not going to be excited. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not going to be nervous. I'm going to be excited. I think the bottom line is, is the most, the most prepared, most invested team always wins. And, uh, you know, as a staff, as a head coach, you just got to make sure that our team is the most prepared, most invested. And at that point, you let the chips fall where they may. But, uh, you know, I've done this for a long time and you know, won a national championship at the University of Florida and been involved in a lot of big games. And it's never failed. If you are the most prepared, most invested, you do win. So as long as we cover all those bases and make sure our team is that, then uh, there's no, we're not going to be nervous. We won't go play. There's no question about it. It's got to get me fired up, ready to go out and hit somebody. I'm not going to, though. <laughs> Believe me, I'll get knocked down really quick. i got to play with you, Jamie. i got major problems. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, well, there you go, Coach. It's really letting everybody know how small I really am. Yeah. No, but, you know, it's funny. I'm kind of comparing you to Coach Donnie Jones because Donnie was championships, like you mentioned. He won national championships. And now look at the program that he has built in the past three years. Are you looking forward to that, too, building this program and getting it back to the level where, where we used to be? Well, we deserve, we, we, you know, we, Marshall deserves to be playing for championships, and her fans deserve that. And, you know, Donnie and I were neighbors at the University of Florida <laughs> when he worked for Billy D and I worked for Urban Meyer. And, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, he's just Donnie. I'm just so happy for Donnie. He's a great coach. And, uh, does a great has done a great job with that program, and I saw, you know, we were at Florida, and we won national titles, won four national titles in about a three-year period there, but I saw how that football program fed off the basketball and vice versa. We're trying to do the same thing here, and 
you know, Donnie's got his program to the point where he's going to start playing for championships, and uh, we sure need to get the football program there. All that's our goal. That's, that's our plan is to get that football program playing for and, championships. And I like that because you were announced at a basketball game this past season, and you came on the floor, and one of the first things you said was, "Hey, let's not take away from what Coach Jones is doing tonight." And you applauded him, and I thought that showed real good character of you saying, "It's not all about me. It's about Coach Jones, and it's about the whole program." Well, it is. It, it's not about me, and at that particular night especially. I mean, mm -hmm. that, what Donnie Jones and that basketball team's accomplished this year has been been unheard of. I mean, they haven't won 20 games in 10 years. They they finished with a winning record in that conference. They went on the road and they won big games. So, I'm just so happy for Donnie and the way that basketball team is prepared and played. And uh, his staff's done a great job. And Donnie's a good friend. And uh, we're sure going to support each other. Well, I tell you what, that first home football game at home against WVU, a sold out Jones C. Edwards. I know I'm going to be there. What do you want from the fans? How crazy do you want them to get? Well, number one, we got to go play Ohio State first, so I'm not going to worry about that second one at this <laughs> there point. You go. That's but a true uh, coach right there. No reason to yeah, look down the road. Yeah, that being said, we need a packed house, and it'll be packed. It, it, it'll be packed, and our team will be well prepared. And uh, we'll, we'll get to that point when we get to it, but let's make sure we sell our tickets. Let's all get to Ohio State and, and that stadium first. Let's go play that one and we'll worry about playing West Virginia in the second one. Well, Coach, you are ready. And, and I want to do something really quickly to prove that Coach Holiday knows exactly what he's talking about, that he is a true head coach. We've got a little experiment set up. Are you ready to, to help us out a little Absolutely. bit? Absolutely. Let's head it. on over here. We are going to play. Courtney's coming with us. Now, where's Bradley? What happened to Bradley? Oh, it's from the doorkeeper. You stand right there. Oh, sorry, Coach. We have a little paper football game that we want you to coach. Bradley's going to be over here, and we want our, <laughs> our up late expert. He's, uh -oh. This is Kyle. Oh, man. Look at the face off. We got it all, huh? You got your headset. Who am I talking to in the box here now? Uh, is it you? Sure, I'll talk to you in the box. No, I there's no one in the box. All right, throw that on there. Yes, yes swing that around. Now, yeah. All right, who's kicking off? How, did we? Bradley's you didn't flip off. a coin. We didn't flip a coin. All right, coach. That's okay. Bradley is kicking. Bradley. This is Bradley is going to kick to Courtney, okay? Okay. Now, are they well prepared? I don't know. Are you all uh, well prepared? I don't know. I practiced. I learned football earlier today. She so. did learn, yeah. You know, the most prepared and the most invested lady is going to win here today. Right? <laughs> there you go. So, who went to bed the earliest last night? I don't know. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Not, I'm the winner. <laughs> yeah, no chance. All right. Kick it off, Bradley. Let's see what we got. Keep it on the table now, honey. Keep Yeah. There you go. Very good. Now, now, get it down there. What I'm do you glad think? You're not my kicker. Yeah. So, what do you think? Just, I flick it. Just easy, ease into it in the corner. Oh, That's no. horrible. Try That's to get horrible. to the, try to get it to the end zone here. Knock it. No, no, just knock it. Do they not? Kyle, come on. He didn't see. That ah! was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Gentle. Gentle. Does that mean Gentle. I get to kick it? Yes, kick off. Coach, what do you think? What do we need um, to do to? What do you need to do? Ah! I think they both need to practice. They need to practice. <laughs> This is why yeah, we they, have, they need a great off season. <laughs> this is why we have spring ball, right? That's right, absolutely. All right, we'll come back in the fall and hopefully we'll get Courtney and Bradley a little bit more in shape. I think for paper we'll be a little football. bit better by then. Coach, thanks, thanks for coming on show. Coach hey, Holiday, everyone. Me, we'll be right back with music from Blues Crossing. I'm sorry, this is this is embarrassment actually. Oh,